Hello everyone, and welcome back to Error Genie. Today, I'll guide you through some easy, step-by-step -step solutions to fix a common issue. The gamepad or controller, not working in Farming Simulator 25 on Windows. Let's get started. Step 1. Restart your computer. Begin by restarting your computer. This often resolves temporary issues. Once it's back on, open the game and check if your controller is working. Step 2. Enable controller in the game menu launch Farming Simulator 25. Go to Options and then the Settings icon, Gear Symbol. Look for Input Controls and Game Pads. If it's set to Off, switch it on. Click Apply in the bottom right and the game will reload. Try your controller again. Step 3. Edit the settings.xml file Open File Explorer. Go to Documents, then My Games, then Farming Simulator 2025. Find GameSettings.xml and open it with Notepad. Locate the line that says is GamePad enabled. Change it to True if it's set to False. Save the file and launch the game to test. Step 4. Delete input files in the Profile Template folder. In Steam, right-click on the game, go to Manage, and select Browse Local Files. Open the Profile Template folder and back up all files. Delete any files starting with input and relaunch the game. If issues persist, restore the backup files. Step 5. Adjust Steam input settings. In Steam, right-click on Farming Simulator 25, go to Properties, then Controller. Toggle Steam input to either disable or enable, then test the game to see which setting works. Step 6. For non-Steam users, add the game to Steam. In Steam, click on Add a Game, then add a non-Steam game. Browse to your game's installation folder, select the executable file, and add it to Steam. Launch the game through Steam and test the controller. Step 7. Use Big Picture Mode in Steam. Enter Big Picture Mode in Steam, top right corner, and launch the game from there. Big Picture Mode can sometimes resolve controller compatibility issues. Step 8. Unplug unused external devices. Disconnect any unused USB devices, adapters, extra controllers, joysticks, or multiple monitors. Launch the game with only the essential peripherals connected. Step 9. Reconnect the controller. Unplug your controller and plug it back in. If that doesn't work, remove it from Windows settings and repair it. Go to settings then Bluetooth and devices, find the controller and click remove device. Repair the controller and try again. Step 10. Update controller firmware. If using an Xbox controller, download the Xbox Accessories app from the Microsoft Store, connect your controller, and update it if needed. PlayStation users can use the PlayStation Accessories app to update their controller. Step 11. Configure with DS4 or ReWaySD for PlayStation controllers. For additional configuration options, PlayStation users can try DS4 Windows or ReWaySD. Both can be downloaded online. Step 12. Try a wired connection. If nothing else works, try connecting your controller with a USB cable and launching the game again. One of these steps should help get your controller working. Thanks for watching, and if this helped, please like the video and subscribe to Error Genie for more troubleshooting tips.